Hey guys, what's up? It's Rio here, back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've taken that's very effective for injuries. And that is two compounds that you may or may not have heard of, BPC-157 and TB-500. So what is BPC-157 and TB-500? Well, they're both fairly similar. They both work really well for injuries. They both are peptides. And I believe TB-500 is only injectable. BPC-157 has an injectable and an oral. And the oral one is mostly used, I believe, for people with, with gut issues. Whereas if you have like a injury to your tendons or ligaments um, or muscles, then the injectable form of BPC is better from everything that I've heard. Um, you could you inject it like a site specific, if it's your shoulder, then you inject it in the shoulder, if it's your leg, wherever, you inject it near the site and apparently that has better effects. So I tried this almost a year ago now. I was dealing with a lingering groin injury from really heavy deadlift. I think I injured it in like November and I was still de dealing with the issue um, like six to eight months later. And I was able to still deadlift, but I could not go very heavy and definitely could not max out without risking injuring it even worse. So finally, I talked to a couple friends about it and did a lot of research about it and decided to give it a shot. Um, to be completely honest, it is a peptide and I believe like a year ago in January, it's been banned by some sports organizations. So if you compete in a drug tested federation, you probably cannot take this anymore. These two compounds, TB500 and BPC157, they work synergistically and I figured using them both, it would kind of make sure that whatever was wrong with my groin, I wasn't sure if it was a tendon, probably a tendon issue, maybe some ligaments in there. I wasn't, still not sure exactly what what uh, happened there because when the injury happened, it kind of popped in my groin and it was okay. It wasn't like it tore something really badly, but it just ached really bad and, and I was really limited in my flexibility and I just could not properly deadlift really heavy without it flaring up again. So I was finally just fed up with always feeling feeling this nagging injury. And I did a little research and came up with these two compounds. Literally, I've never seen anything as effective as this. Like I've tried just taking supplements to try to heal this injury, plenty of protein to collagen, vitamin C, trying to do whatever it took, stretching lightly, uh, exercising, doing some Copenhagen planks to try to help strengthen and slowly heal this groin injury, but just nothing was working. And I took these and I, I forget the exact length of time that I took them, but I think it was like two to four weeks. And by the end of that time, the pain was like gone. And I was actually feeling like I could deadlift heavy again, but I still took it slow for a few weeks afterwards. And then I was able to PR actually in the deadlift, not, not too much after that. Um, I want to be clear, this is definitely not me recommending that you take these compounds. You should definitely only take it under doctor supervision. But I just wanted to share what I've taken that worked far better than I ever imagined and could likely work for any of you that have some lingering tendon or ligament issues, as well as muscle tears, I believe. This is not like a steroid that it builds your muscle and makes you stronger. It just helps to heal and get you back to 100%. So of course, the people that know that I'm natural are going to question like, so am I actually natural anymore? And that's up to you to decide um, because yeah, it is banned now. Anyways, the bottom line is I just wanted to share what worked for me for healing up my injuries. And I think I'll definitely take it again if I have any injury like that in the future. Now in the recent past, I've heard actually quite a few people talking about these two compounds, especially the BPC-157. And I'm quite curious if any of my friends or anyone watching this has taken this and what your experience has been. So if you have tried this or have heard about it, I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. All right, that's all I have for this video. If you found it informational or interesting, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.